In this video, we're going to load Multiwi 2.4 latest to this uh, Hobby King Multiwi Pro Board which has an at Mega 2560 chip and the MK GPS as a combo. I'm only using six channels for now. Uh, fly sky six channel and two servos for the flying wing. We're going to cover several things. The frame to use, the sensor to use, the armless arm line, zero port, slow pass filter, GPS lines, magnetic declination, PWM servo, motor stop. And this 24230, the Multi V, uh, the other Multi V tab. Open up Multi V 2.4. Go into the Multi V tab. Double click Multi V dot ino. It should open to Arduino if you match the two programs together open go to the extreme right on the drop down box config H Should open to config H and we go to frame. You want flying wing. I want the FF IMU V2. Save. Yes, so we don't lose anything. Go to the arm and disarm. We should strike. Allow arm disarm by text. Yo, that's right. Tony one. Serial ports all one one five two zero zero for now. You can change that. Alternative setup serial ports looks good. Low pass filter. This is what you would uncomment if you want a low pass filter for now. Nada GPS. Now this is going to be interesting because we have the MKT GPS. We would do define serial two. Done that bound rate. I would make that one one five two zero zero for now. You can change that later. And MEA being uh, MKT GPS. In it MKT GPS. And magnetic detonation for me it's a negative 12.63 F. That's my location. I don't know what yours is gonna be, but change that to yours. Uh, and then the next would be PWM0 needs to be commented. Find PWM servo no underscore and this is not commented and we have to comment that otherwise you can't use d6 very important oops sorry very important there to file save last uh second last actually motor stop get it fine Spins on the arm. It has to be. File. Save. So we're good for this. The other thing that you need to change is on the multiv.h tab. Again, that's multiv.h. On the 
divine version 240 it should be divine version 230 otherwise you have a problem you'll get a problem with the GUI file save then let's do a verify the line on the green line on the right should be complete without an error it's going to take some time the board is con this orange is connected to d7 and this right side is connected to d6 now you could have it reversed depending on which one but that's the way to test at least for my end d6 and d7 so compiling is complete uh, what we need to do next is to connect the board to the computer so it recognizes the correct port then do an edit exam file sorry example e from e from clear tools the board what to the board would be 2560 com com4 upload this is just to clear the board make sure there's nothing in there so there's basically a uh, clean board nothing so now we go to upload the actual sketch uploading it will blink and when the uploading is done the blinking will stop hopefully without error so we don't have errors that looks good you can hear the service and I'm working let's just minimize that for now and fire up WinGUI 2.3 now let's do the configuration connect the board to the computer and fire up window I'm using 2.3 p8 initialization completed which is related have a good flight then come for connect on the flight deck first thing you notice that the PKT Indicator is blinking the green, which means our GPS is working. Make this 10 hertz so it moves a little faster. Mission is where you would plan your mission, light tuning, PID, FC config is where you would uh, change the servo. And control, RC control settings where you set your flight control. So moving backwards, I want to put everything first on horizon. Do the right. If I wanted to assign a switch to a particular flight code, this is where I do it. I could use this for uh, return to home and this for say mission. It's up to you. So going back to FC config, moving the pitch sticks. If you look at the servo, I'm moving the pitch sticks here. If you imagine your elevon connected to your servo, they be moving in the opposite direction and moving the roll they will be moving in the same direction now how do you change that? you do that by using this these settings here for this particular servo setup click the reverse then do the right now if you look at the servos this time on pitch they're moving in the right direction the one on the roll to move in the opposite direction. So that's good. 
LCD correction. They are also moving in the same direction. And this one is moving correctly. Very good.